We're continuing with the Zohar's explanation of Shema Yisrael. Hear, O Israel, Hashem is God, Hashem is one. It's all one. The Zohar says that the word Shema Yisrael, Hear, O Israel, expresses a unification, unifying the three sides, Adonai, Elohino, Adonai, because it's all one, it's all Echad. Further in the Zohar, it is written, Rabbi Chia opened after him and said, quoting the verse in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, it was shown to you so that you may know that Adonai Elohim, there is none besides him. And a few verses later it says, and you shall know this day and take into your heart that Adonai Elohim in the heavens above and on the earth below, there is none other. The entire secret of faith depends on these words. From this one can know the secret of all secrets, the most hidden of all mysteries. And that is, Habaya Elohim is one full name. And it is all one. Now, if you listen to what I just read, I was just reading the secret of all secrets, of Elohim. Now, perhaps a lightning bolt should come and strike me down right now for revealing something that has been kept hidden since time immemorial. And the Zohar itself heaps curses upon curses on people who whispers and revealers of mysteries who reveal mysteries to people who are not worthy. The reason that I allow myself to say such things now is, is for, I have a few reasons. One is, nobody understood what I just said anyway, so I could say it a hundred times and you still won't understand it. The other thing, the other reason is that now these, these mysteries are readily available. It's been, the cat is out of the bag, so to speak. The, the Zohar has been translated into several languages in English, and you, you, Jew or not a Jew, you can go to your local library and get this information and you can be enriched by it. And the other reason is that the secret is not that I know, so according to Shlomo Karlovach, my Rebbe Shlomo Karlovach, Zachar Tzadik Lebracha, he once said at Yankel and Mir's wedding in the Moshav under their chuppah, he said, the secret is not when I know something and I tell you, and then it's no longer a secret. The secret is when I know something, a secret, and then I tell you, and you hear it, and it's still a secret. So let's, you have to understand a little bit about God's names to understand this mystery. Havaya Elohim is the names of God. So when we say Shema Yisrael, we're saying Adonai is Havaya. That's God's name of mercy, the four-letter game, the tetragrammaton, spelled yud heh vav these, these four letters represent the attribute of God's mercy and God's love. These four letters represent being, was, is, and will be, everything. But ba let's basically say, as some of the holy books say, that it's God's love, God's mercy. Elohim represents God's judgment. In another context, it could mean a judge, an earthly judge. So what does it mean that it's all one? In the Zohar, Parsha Pekude, it says, one who knows how to combine similar things, min bimino, to make connections, connecting chamber to chamber, level to level, has a share in the world to come, as we have established. This is the completeness of all. And when all the levels are completed, one joined to the other, then it is all one action, and the completeness that comes out of this congruent element called, that we call min bimino is called mase merkava. Merkava, the roots of the word Merkava is Morkav, to combine, combining opposites, the workings of the divine chariot. And this is the secret of Embrashit in the second chapter of Genesis where it says, Hashem Elohim formed man. Hashem Elohim is one complete name. And the resulting action of combining these two names into one is the formation of man. In this way it says, Hashem Elohim. Hashem Hu Elohim. So again, we have two names, Hashem, the four-letter name, Yudke Vavke, it's all the same. That's one name representing God's love. We have another name, Elohim, representing God's judgment, difficulties, severe judgment even. That's Elohim. So when we say Shema Yisrael, we're saying it's all one. So how could it be? God says this good thing, says this life, family, joy, happiness, friends, being in Jerusalem, being in our city, being in yeshivas, in, in rejoicing, wealth, health, good things. That's God's love, right? Ah, what if what if He sends us, God forbid, the opposite of all of these things? Suffering, barrenness, God forbid, I don't even want to mention it. 
It's, there's, there's, the, it's very difficult to be a member of the of the human race. It's a lot of suffering. That's the, what we call judgment. That is what we say. We say that's coming through the name Elohim. So how can it be the same? What kind of a God is this? So, so we're we're Jews. Good and evil comes from God alike, the same God. There's not one force that, that God is only goodness and sweetness and, and goodness, and then something else is something indep- another independent force. That would that would be tantamount to idolatry, God forbid. It's all one. It's all coming out of one source. We just don't we we experiencing the suffering because we don't know what's really going on. He's in control of everything. And if we had the information, we would understand what's going on. But the, the test of faith is that no, it's not just we're the, the, the no, it's foxhole theology. We don't we don't want to be foxhole theologians, meaning we pray only when, when things are difficult, or we, we, we serve God only when we when, when when we're in a difficult situation, or God forbid, in a hospital or a jail, God forbid. But when things are good and well, we thank God that it's always it's all it's it's only one God. It's the same God. And we don't understand exactly how he works things because we're finite. He is infinite. Uh, we don't. Uh, we can't. We, we are greatly limited. Even the, the, the most intelligent among us in our, in our humankind have, have tremendously limited knowledge. So we don't. We don't really know. But what we do know is the secret of faith that Havaya Elohim, and it's all. One. The central idea of the Zohar is explained in Parshish Truma, where it says, And you shall know this day, and take it into your heart, that Hashem is Elohim, the same God of goodness and mercy, is the, same, the God who sends difficulties and judgments. In the heavens above and on the earth below, there is none of them.